Hello everyone, I'm Caden with the Splash Center and you're watching my introduction to guitar. Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Guitar Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be putting all the uh, components we learned in the previous episodes into uh, put them all into play in one go and we're going to learn to play Wagon Wheel. So, uh, Wagon Wheel uses the four basic chords that we were taught first, so G, D, E minor, and C. Um, and the strumming pattern is the same strumming pattern I covered in the last video. So it's down, up, down, up, down. This is a really good, um, this is a really good like starter song to learn because the strumming pattern is pretty easy. Um, the chords aren't complicated. It's the four basic chords. Um, it's good to play for anyone if they ask you to play a guitar song. Say, hey, you know, I'll play a guitar song. It's a good one to have because a lot of people know it and a lot of people know the words. So it's a good, good, uh, good campfire song. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get straight in to learn how to actually play it. So um, first, I want to talk about what a chord progression is. A chord progression is in what order you play the chords. So the chord progression for this song is G, D, E minor, and then C. So the four we learned. So it's like G, D. E minor and C and then the strumming pattern is the same strumming pattern we learned before so down up down up down down up down up down and you want to change chords after every down up down up down so like So, yeah, so you want to make sure you get that part first. So it's G, D, E minor, C, and then there's actually a second chord progression in this song, and it goes G, D, and then straight to C. It's only three chords. So that one is the same as the first one, but with no E minor. So you play those two chord progressions back to back. So if you think about it, the first chord progression is G, D, E minor, C. And then you play the second chord progression, which is the exact same, like the exact same, but with no E minor. It goes straight from D to C, so it's. All along with the, like the. Um, you might struggle at first with getting the chords fluently, so that's why I emphasized a lot in the last episodes to really make sure that you know the patterns and really make sure you know where the fingers are supposed to be for the chords, because you are going to have to change them like that. Um, yeah, so to break it down, you have G, D, E minor, C, and then it goes to the second part, which is G, D, C. And on this half, we have down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. So you really want to get that down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. And then after you play that down again, you play down again because it starts over. So it's like... Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. You know? So, uh, and that, that, that goes for the whole song. So the whole song, looped over, sounds like this. Something 
forgot to mention. Um, so the first one is G, D, E minor, C, and where the second one is G, D, C, you want to play C twice in a row. So all the other ones, like for G, you only play the once. D, you only play it once. E minor, you only play it once. C, for the first time, you play it once. On the second loop around, it's G once, D once, C twice. You play C twice on the last one, so it keeps in the same time with the song. So the first one is four patterns, and the second one is four patterns. So it's like... Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so if you really practice your hand movements and your strumming, and you get it down right, and uh, practice makes perfect, so practice it. I've played this song 2,000 times, and uh, each time it gets a little easier where you can pick up the pattern and have the... You know? So uh, stick with it. And uh, thank you all for watching, very much. All right, see y'all later.